I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on logarithmic equations. We need to solve for x, round the answer to two decimal places for the equation which is 0 0.1 equals 2, 7 to the power of 2x plus 3. Let me rewrite this equation. It is 0 0.1 equal to 7 to the power of 2x plus 3 we have to solve for x. Now in such equations we can take logarithms on both the sides. We will take log to the base 10 so that we can use the calculator and evaluate the answer. So taking log on both sides we get log of 0 0.1 equals to log of 7 to the power of 2x plus 3. Now applying the properties of logarithms that exponent can be written as 2x plus 3 times log of to the base 10 of 7 right so we have now log of 0 0.1 equals to this now we can isolate x log 0 0.1 divided by log of 7 equals to 2x plus 3 so we can now take 3 of this side. So we have log 0 0.1 over log of 7 minus 3 equals to 2x. And from here we can find the value of x as half of log 0 0.1 divided by log 7 minus 3. And that is the value of x. To calculate this value, we need to use the calculator, find the answer and round it to two decimal places as specified. So let us say x now is equal to half of over in bracket log 0 0.1 divided by log 7 minus 3. So that is basically the answer, right? Now let's calculate this. So let me do it in small steps. We'll st start from inside, right? So we have log 0.1 bracket close divided by log 7 bracket close equals 2. And then from here we are going to take out 3 which is minus 3 equals 2. We get some number and then we'll divide this number by 2. So we get our answer which is equal to minus 2.0916. Rounding it to two decimal places gives us x equals to minus 2.09. Right? So our answer is x equals to minus 2.09. So important thing here is that when you are solving such a question, it is important to keep the values as such, derive what x should be, right? Show your steps to isolate x and then do your calculations. In case you replace log 0 0.1 by its value, log 7 by its value, you get too many decimal numbers to round and your answer may be incorrect. So that's the whole idea. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these steps help you to solve logarithmic equations which are like this. We'll take a few more examples to practice. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.